What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what NEAR protocol is and if it actually solves the scaling issue with layer two solutions. Let's get into it. But of course, before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com. I'd appreciate it if you check it out. There's some really exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest content and videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. There's also gonna be some bonus exclusive content coming in the next few weeks that I can't wait to announce, and it's not gonna be made available anywhere else. It's time to upset the established order. And here we go. So we all have a friendly neighborhood kid who is always keen on helping us out with our homework, or at least for me there was. Or we all remember that one friend who can explain complex problems and topics within minutes, right before a test. Well, the NEAR network is basically that friend. Now as a quick disclaimer, crypto investment of course is risky. I'm not a financial advisor, nor is this video a piece of investment advice. So before jumping into any investment into crypto, make sure to DYOR or do your own research. And of course, this is just what I'm doing, so sit back and enjoy. Now that that's out of the way, my name is Zach and I bring content related to blockchain technology, guides, news, explanations, and things that I think will help you get ready for the blockchain revolution that is already well underway. Now, if you want to learn and understand how crypto works or the upcoming cryptocurrencies that are about to explode before anyone else, then make sure to please like the video, subscribe, and click the bell notification. It really does help me out. This way, YouTube will notify you when I post my latest videos. Now, with all of that said, let's get back to the NEAR project. It was started by a former Microsoft employee, Alexander Skidanov, and Google developer, Ilya Polosukin, hopefully I said that right, who was on the team researching deep learning used in Google's translation service. They are some of the most brilliant minds in the cryptoverse today, arguably. Now, the project is backed by the VC firm Y Combinator, which is a very well-known name in the startup world. Near raised nearly $50 million within the first four months of starting. That too, without building the actual product itself. That really is not an easy feat. Moreover, Near raised the money in a bear market for folks who don't know. Now in a bear market, most people run away with their money and try to keep it safe so that they can reinvest it when the market starts looking up again. Ironically, that's the opposite of what you should do, but I digress. Fetching an investment in a bear market without a minimum viable product is pretty impressive, all things considered, and shows high hopes for the overall project's success. So what the NEAR project is doing is building a new internet, so they say. Something that is far from the control of big corporations and not, cannot be shut down or censored by any government. The NEAR blockchain is a community-focused and developer-friendly program. Now, along with that, they have an active YouTube channel where they explain the technicalities of some of the big names in the crypto world just by using a whiteboard. You may have seen it. Basically, like that friend who teaches us complex concepts before the exam. This also helps near understand other blockchains and brings the best out of all the chains and incorporate them into its main dedicated blockchain. The NEAR protocol, of course, like other blockchains, has a consensus and block creation mechanism. That consensus mechanism is called delegated proof of stake. You know what also runs on delegated proof of stake? Tezos. Now, as for what DPoS means, a NEAR token holder can delegate its token to someone who has the computing power or validates the network. Both the token validator and the token holder benefit from this. For block creation, the near network uses a protocol called Doomslug. 
Now, the name sounds a bit funky, but the process is simple. Cut and you, cut and you, but I told him it was too simple, too easy. Different sets of validators take part in producing a block. And this takes place according to the number of tokens a validator has staked. This way, blocks are produced at neck breaking speeds. The block time is 1.03 seconds and tra transaction finality is two seconds. Now one roadblock for the mass adoption of blockchain like Bitcoin and Ethereum is the transaction speed. Again, as a comparison with Visa, 65,000 transactions take place every second. While on the Ethereum network, you can only do about tr seven transactions per second. That number is laughably small. Now to counteract this, the NEAR protocol introduced sharding and they have a specific name for it called Nightshade. Now what sharding does, if I haven't explained that in earlier videos, is separate the data into smaller sets. So each node has to process a bit of data at a time and all of the same type. This results in higher throughput for the entire blockchain, like an assembly line. This is just scratching the surface. Explaining sharding will require a whole different video, but that's just the gist of it. So if you want to know more about sharding, then comment down below and I will make a dedicated video specifically on what that is and what the benefits are. But with sharding, near can reach a speed of 100,000 transactions per second. Interestingly, near already has the sharding capabilities that Ethereum's developers will introduce in Ethereum 2.0. Now talk about a significant first mover advantage or something else. But like I said, near sharding is called nightshade, which is quite different from regular sharding. Here, each shard has 100 seats. And to be a validator, you need to have at least one seat. Now to have a seat, you need to stake the equal amount of near token staked by other validators. So let us understand it with this example. Now, if all the validators in the shard stake 700 near tokens, that means having a seat will require you to stake 700 near. Newer shards will have a low barrier to entry. And if you want to be with the popular kids, you can use delegated proof of stake to get the required tokens. 90% of the block rewards will go to the delegators and validators. The rest, or 10% goes to the treasury of the near DAO. Now again, to know more about DAOs and what it is and what problems it solves in overall business in general, then go ahead and check out that video at the end of this one and I do a deep dive on what is a DAO, where we explain it very simply. Now NEAR uses also human readable wallet addresses. And if you have ever done any transactions with cryptocurrency, then you might know what I'm talking about, very similar to what Unstoppable Domains does. Crypto wallet addresses are no less than alien hieroglyphics. NEAR provides you with human readable address domains by default. For example, crypto underscore renegade dot NEAR. This looks quite simple over this. Doesn't it? Now this will go a big way in bringing your mom and dad to the crypto space. I've also, again, made a video about unstoppable domains, which I'll link down below, and you can check out how they are using NFT-based domain wallets to enable multi-channel mass adoption of cryptocurrency. Now, please check out that video, show it some love, and this will go a long way on keeping the lights on here and keeping me going. Like we said before, Near wants to be developer friendly. Before that, the most prominent names in the blockchain space copied the Ethereum network. No real innovations. They did this by copying the open source code and then changing it to launch their own token in their own blockchain. Two famous copycats of the Ethereum blockchain are, you guessed it, Binance Smart Chain, otherwise known as BSC, and then Polygon, which now serves as a layer two. But the NEAR protocol did something entirely different. They built the blockchain from the ground up. Now this way they made themselves separate from the Ethereum blockchain, taking some of what they consider the best elements. But we know that Ethereum with its language solidity is a big name when it comes to making decentralized apps, 
otherwise known as dApps or dApps, however you want to say it. This way to build dApps on the near protocol, developers need to start from scratch. Well, again, if that's the case and I were a developer, at least I wouldn't have made any new apps for this upcoming chain. The near protocol came up with a side chain called Aurora to solve this very problem. Aurora is a smart contract built on top of the near layer one. Aurora is a layer two scaling system, but it is a little different from other layer two solutions. Aurora was built with the Ethereum virtual machine in mind, or EVM. In simple terms, that means that Ethereum developers can easily copy and paste the applications into the Aurora network, and eventually it will automatically be automated for them. The developers can enjoy the high transaction speed and low transaction fees of the near network while tapping into Ethereum. The transaction fee is less than a penny. Well, that's about as economical as I can get. But the near network also launched an $800 million incentive program for developers of DeFi apps to migrate to its network. Moreover, other layer two solutions validate those transactions off chain. Now, Aurora does something different. It validates the transactions on the Ethereum and near main chains. This way you get the security of the Ethereum as well as the near chain. Now this security feature of the main chain was lacking in layer two solutions. Aurora being a smart contract is also a big plus. This way the near developers can focus on the main chain without worrying about Aurora's consensus mechanism, validators, storage, or keeping track of the network and any related security issues. Another problem with layer two solutions is interoperability and lack of liquidity on the main root chain. Near also has a solution for this, and that is called the Rainbow Bridge. Now the Rainbow Bridge provides interoperability between Ethereum, Aurora, and the Near protocol chain. This will also help provide liquidity to the main network via this bridge. Now the Aurora network with the Rainbow Bridge sends tokens to the near network with ease. So as you can see, the near network solves slow transaction speeds that are associated with layer one, much different than AVAX or Solana. Additionally, it also introduces solutions to scaling with layer two. This is gonna be a big punch in the other blockchain's collective stomachs. Now, near does everything other blockchains aim to do or be in the future and they do it efficiently so let's take a look at some of what the i call green flags are of the near protocol that make me confident in its long-term success first the near protocol has an excellent ico or initial coin offering even coins list had to postpone the ico by a day because of the enormous demand also two over 120 million NEAR tokens were sold to individuals and investors outside of the US. Three big investors like Coindesk and Andreessen Horowitz back the NEAR protocol. Having big names like them makes me hopeful about the project, at least gives it some gravitas. And the NEAR project is still in development actively, and the project will keep on improving from here on out. So what I will suggest to you is that even if you are not investing in this project, Watch it closely, keep an eye out for it. And in my recent video on FTM, I discussed why many people are flocking to otherwise ignored other existing layer one chains. There's FOMO or fear of missing out on AVAX and Soul, and people, if nothing else, are hedging their bets that this will be adopted by not only users, but also developers. Follow the money, as they say. Watch, it will pay. I, I may have been early, but I'm not wrong. I will see you guys in the next video right now on FTM. Just click right here on your screen, and I will see you and meet you in that video now. Crypto Renegade out.